Hi, welcome back to my channel. And I'm here to do my 100 Lico challenge. Today, we have Lico A41, keys and rooms. So in this question, it's a medium question. The description is kind of long. So there are n rooms and you start with room zero. Each room has a distinct number. And in zero, one, two, three, until all the way to n minus one. And each room may have some keys to access the next room. And here we can take a look at uh, this example here. And we usually, we always have the zero room open, which is here. Here's zero room, room one, room two, and room three. And we have zero open. And in the zero room, we have key one. So that key one can open room one here so after you open room one and we have key two so we use key two to open this room then we have key three and after we have key three we open room three so all of the room are open at the end so it's true but in this case you can take a look at here we have key zero in here and after key zero and room zero is open. Now we have one and three in the pocket. And we go to one, room one here. And we have one, zero. We already have zero, key zero. And we already have one. And now we have key is three. And we also have key three. So we don't have any additional one. And now we go to room three, which is here. And we already have key zero. And that's it. That's all the key we have. But we haven't visited this one. We can't visit because we you cannot get any um, keys from this room. So we return false. And the solution for this one is using a hash stack and also using a stack. Now we know we start with room zero and we put zero in the stack. And we start looking at the stack. If the stack is not empty, we go to bring that key and open the room and check all the keys in that room. And we see one. And first, after you have the zero, put that in the set. So now set have zero. And also we check the keys in that room. And we put this key in the stack. And after stack, that's that, and we check um, the key one, and then we repeat the whole process and fill all the key that we use into the set, hash set. Then the end of the um, stack operation, we see if the hash set contain all the keys that we have. Then to compare with how many rooms for the input, if the key set for a hash set is less than the room's uh, size, that means some rooms are not visited or cannot be opened. So we return false by then. Now, let's look at the, take a look at the code. First, we have, has, we have a set that can take integer. And we also have a stack for keys storing. Stack. And after you have this stack, first we do adding a zero because we have keys for zero. Mm while stack is not empty. We first pop out the integer in the stack and we put it in uh, current keys, which is equal to stack.pop. Pop that out 
Now we bring that current key to check if the stack, I mean, is set, does not contain current. So if the key have never been visited, that means the room have never been open, then we would process. We'll first, we add this current key to the set. That means we already, we're coming into that room and check the keys. Now we're checking the keys in that room. Rooms dot get current, right? Current is the location of the, in the rooms. When you open that room, we find different keys. We loop through different keys and put those key in like uh, if set um, does not contain the key X. Then we put that X into stack. If we already have the key already been using it in this key set, I mean the hash set, then we ignore it. And, and we put this, otherwise it doesn't contain, uh, the set doesn't contain the uh, key, then we put that to the stack. And then we can keep visit the next room later. Now, yeah, if the set really contain um, the key that uh, we, we're looking for, the current key, uh, then we don't need to do anything. And if we just pop it out and we disappear. After that, we check how many key in the hash set and we turn. So the size of the hash set is the key that we have. And we compare to uh, rooms the size to match how many rooms we have. Then it should be um, the solution in here. Contain. Okay, it looks good. And that's it for this question. And if you have any question, please comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Then I will see you in the next video. Bye.